Shall we? Yeah, let's drink. Uh, interesting drink choices we have this morning. Just gotta start off with that. Mine's normal. This is right now. Yes, it is. It is Wednesday, May 30th. It is, and it's actually a special day. First off, I'm gonna talk about this because I always like to talk about the drinks. I'm going sans coffee this morning because we just went yesterday. Got a follow up with my nutritionist. Won't go into details, but I am now on an intermittent fasting regimen. I cannot have gotta, anything. Gotta reset his body a little bit. I cannot have anything between 8 p.m. and 10 a.m. Nothing, except for water with a little bit of cucumber in it just to give it some essence of flavor. I don't know if that's technically breaking the fast, but come on, it's cucumber. Anyway, we have a big announcement today. We sure do. Which is the whole point, not Brian's water. Nope. Um, we, okay, that was a really bad drum roll. I thought it was pretty good. Thanks. We're launching a new website next week. What? A new GooleyPens.com store. Um, this has been in the works for quite some time. Probably this is, nine months or so. This has we've been, been my on this big secret secretly. project. Um, yes. We've alluded to this a couple times in right now. We decided to do it last fall because we knew our contract on our current site was going to be up later this year. Yeah. And we're like, let's not launch again in the middle of November in the holidays on a Friday night when we're the. Yeah. So um, we decided to get ahead of that deadline. Um, so we're moving over to Shopify. I'm really Woo. excited. They're one of the biggest e-commerce platforms out there. We're on their yeah. enterprise level plan. Um, so we have great support and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, it's going to help us scale, um, bring some of our costs down, which is great. So our current site, we were an early adopter. We were like literally their second store to go live. Yeah. And um, now I know what an early adopter means. And, uh, you know... It's not, not for everybody. It's pain. It means pain. It, me, it meant we needed more of a developer than I realized we did even for yeah. small things, which meant cost, which meant it, well, we weren't able to do certain things. And we had to, to tell a little bit of the story, bugs. we were on we were on Volusion for a, a long time. That's how we kind of got started. And they have like, you know, you get a store for 50 bucks a month and you can have which whatever Which Shopify technically has scale. like low levels like that too. Sure, sure. And that was, that was that's not uncommon for e-commerce platforms. Volusion was setting up an e an, an, an enterprise, enterprise level platform. So we kind of got courted by the folks at Volusion to be an early adopter. Because we're Volusion. So yeah. it wasn't like out of the blue. We were like, we just really feel like doing this out of the no, blue. No, we, we were limited in what we were able yeah. to do. So. And in the early stages, it was very promising because it was like, oh, we're going to be able to build all these custom features, whatever we want, which is true. It's true. It's a very powerful platform. Like, I'm not knocking the platform. It just wasn't right fit for us. Yeah, it was just, so, it was kind of bigger than what we needed. And they, it was pretty much don't... assumed you would have developers on staff. Exactly. And we have Rachel. She's very capable. I'm not a She's developer. She's not a full-time developer. I'm not even a part-time developer. I'm a... I learned HTML when I was 14 and a little bit of CSS and JavaScript and I can hack my way through, not hack, that's the wrong word. Um, <laughs> yes, you can't throw that word around lightly when you're talking IT stuff. Not a hack, I don't hack. Um, you can fudge your way through it. I am a hack, anyway. Um, and we're moving to Shopify. It's I'm not a hacker. super excited. <laughs> so um, we have all the details on our blog. Um, yes. I wrote like a big detailed post just kind of giving you like what's changing, what's the same, how does this affect you as a customer. Yep. Um, so definitely check that out. The blog post um, should be published today about the time that we're launching this video. Yeah. So we're, we're just finishing up all of our data migration. It is a heck of a lot of work yeah, to move like, an e-commerce store. Like way more than you all will ever realize or feel, hopefully. <laughs> Unless you've ever done it before. It's, I mean, it's one thing to move an existing site and getting all the redirects and making sure your links are broken. Yeah. But when you have an e-commerce store, you have a whole database behind it. So you have your products, you have your customers, you have your orders, and then you have all these integrations. You have your accounting system integration, you have your shipping software, you have your newsletter system, you have your product review system, all these little plugins and all these things that have to play together. Yeah. Um, so we're not only switching e-commerce platforms, but many of our integrations are changing as well. Mm -hmm. Not our accounting system, because I'm not a masochist. <laughs> That'll be later. Changing accounting systems mid-year. <laughs> mid-year. Maybe not Terrible the best idea. idea. That'll be later. Yeah. Maybe around January. We'll see. <laughs> um, so it's been a lot of work. We had to bring some of the data migration in-house as well. So Jeremy, mm -hmm. our data analyst, has been all over that. So we're finishing yeah. that up today. So you'll have your full order history, um, all your addresses, everything which, in the system. Which is epic because anybody, anybody out there, you know, if you've done IT migration stuff, the order history is is about half the project. Oh, it's so complex. We've stuff crazy. from like ten years ago, different structures and discounts and order changes, and trying to make sure all that the sales tax calculations, making sure everything yeah. is attached to the correct customer that's linked to the products. You know, gets. We have what over. basically what nine? I think nine years of history of, yeah. of orders. So if you place an order back in two thousand nine, 
it'll still be there in the system, which is pretty We're awesome. We're finishing up today. It's so. pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I and a shout out to to Sam, um, our director of operations, who yes. has been on here before. He's been my co project manager with that. Um, yeah, we he's did been deep in it. We did hire um, a, an outside firm uh, who does who they they blah, blah, words the design of our new site. So it's like a custom theme. So basically the look and feel. So even if we wanted the site to look exactly the same as it currently is, this button is blue. This is white. This header goes here. It still has to be all coded again and everything has to be tested and everything. Well, so and because the existing site that we're on right now was very highly customized, very custom. a lot of the code wouldn't migrate over to Shopify. So we had to monkey with it and There's a couple do compromises, trade-offs temporarily we had to make, but we have a, yeah. a game plan for the whole summer to Absolutely. continue improving the site. So, you know, functionality wise, most everything is, is gonna be the same. Yeah. And long term it's gonna be better. But yeah. um, all the details are in the blog, so So some of the wins that we're hoping to get with yeah, this. I'll it's talk a about huge that. project. Basically what what happened to tell the story? We moved our physical space last year. You've seen it, and we have got a tour that we did in Q and A 200 and all that. Um, that was a huge project that took a ton of time, ton of energy, a lot of money. And then we moved in. We got settled in for a couple of months, and then, like, and then we're like, Oh, oh our contract's crap. not going here. <laughs> we need to move our oh, website now. Let's, yeah, <laughs> so and let's we, not launch that in the holidays. We, so we like kind of just settled. In. We're like, Ah, oh, we're in the new space. Oh crap, we got to the website. Okay. All right, next nine months, we're gonna do that. So it was like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, because I had a no res rest for the weary. Like starting in the fall, I was researching platforms. So looking at, you know, besides Shopify, there's a lot out there, Magento and Big Commerce and all the different platforms mm -hmm. getting quotes. And then I had to like find the design firm. So it took a while. By the time we got to December, we're like, okay, we're ready to kick Let's off. Do so it. for the last since we went, started going real heavy in January. Mm -hmm. um, we've been building it out and man and trying to manage two sites at the same time. So every time we launch cool. a product, every time we add a product, every time we close something out, every crazy. time a picture changes, I've had two sites to manage. So, yep. um, so just again, the details in the blog, but the skinny next Tuesday, June 5th, we'll be bringing down our current site in the morning. We have to do a physical inventory, make sure all of our stock levels are correct so that we can start the new site with proper stock. Um, and we have to be down anyway for the domain, you know, the URL and stuff to transfer mm -hmm, over. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple last minute things I have to do, like migrating the, the wait list notifications and like the gift cards and things like that, that I can't really do to the last minute. So yeah. um, we'll bring it down on the fifth. So you won't be able to browse the store. There'll be like a new site coming soon message of source that'll probably appear. Um, should appear. <laughs> I don't know at what point, like the old changes to the new. It just it depends on the the internet doing its thing. The ether, yeah. The, the internet, <laughs> the internets. Um, so we'll be doing our counts and getting prepped. Um, and then Wednesday, the sixth, our new site will go live in the morning. So that way our team is here. We're ready to go mm -hmm. um, to start processing orders and handle your questions. If you um, have ever you know signed up for an account with us or you know you have your email in our system because you place an order, you'll be getting an email from us within 24 hours of launch. Basically with an, hey, it's time to create your account because we're not migrating passwords because that's not safe. It's a security thing. We can't do that. <laughs> um, so you will be getting an email um, with a link to, hey, you know, activate your Pass, activate your account, add a password. If you do, within the first week, we'll send you an extra incentive that we rarely ever do. So watch for that. Um, so then hopefully all will go well. We won't have any like huge product launches during that time because we don't want to add like urgency and to fuel it. To the fire but we have a whole fire. bunch of products <laughs> coming, so now we're gonna have to like sit on them until like we yeah. feel like a couple days in I, we feel stable. I literally have like 18 quart bins filled with products over no, there. No, those are the stuff we haven't even committed. I'm talking about the stuff we've actually oh, the like other on stuff. order, like oh, Opus true. 88 that's and the Casa Porto. We're bringing in the Invincia Nebula and mm -hmm. the uh, Regatta Sport Northern Lights with Goulet nibs. Um, just a little background on if you talk about there's a little shortage of Yaffa nibs. I've not talked about that. There's a little bit of shortage of Yaffa nibs. So while they work it out, we're putting some Goulet nibs on things so that we can, you know, have pens We've worked stock. it out with them. We're not just like throwing our nibs on these pens. They've and got their blessing. all the Conklin pens we're bringing in with Flex nibs soon. That'll be a Goulet exclusive on the new site. Heck yeah. So that's really exciting. Um, yeah, I mentioned Opus 88. Um, the Passporto. There's there's a bunch of other stuff that's yeah. like just hitting right around the time of the transition. So we'll hold off. Of course, all that stuff would arrive like the week that of we're course. trying to launch. You know, we finally restocked Lamy yesterday, which was a long time waiting for that. So thank you for all your patience for everyone asking about we that. We had some like pretty major stock outages major. recently. Which we won't get into great detail oh, about GDPR that. Oh, and GDPR is like, like hitting. If you know what that is, it's just... The, right, yeah. It's just a lot happening it's at once. It's been an exciting May. 
But anyway, I'm really excited. I'm doing really well. Those of you who know a little bit of my personal history, my anxiety started the last time because we launched the, last the website. website. Yeah. Because again, being an early adopter, did not know what that meant and everything I had to do and how long it took. Anyway, there was other stuff going on too. It wasn't just the website. But yeah, um, a lot of the website. So I was a little nervous um, last year when we talked about doing another website. I'm like, can I handle that? Like, I know I'm the right person to lead that project because I'm super passionate about it. I know our website better than anybody else. Like I have the technical chops. You're extremely competent. I, yeah. I can speak technical as well as, you know, business. And um, so I was really excited about it, but also really nervous. Like could I handle it? But I'm doing really, really well. Um, you know, and that's part of why I brought Sam on as a co-project manager. It's like, just in case, like there's a backup for me so I don't feel all the pressure. And that has helped. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm just genuinely excited, if you can't tell. Yeah. We've um, had help from a bunch of others on the team. I don't want to leave anybody out, but we've oh had gosh. a number of people a on the team. A lot of people on the team have helped. have done some heavy yes. lifting. Yes, yes, yes. Not to leave anyone out. But... Yes. And everyone's getting trained over the next week, too. So that's, that's going to be exciting. Training. Yes. So um, it's, it's kind of crazy because like the way that we're trying to go about this is to have as smooth a transition for you all as possible. So if we do everything right, you will notice as little of a change as possible, which is kind of crazy. It's the duck on the water. You yeah. know, it looks smooth on top and underneath. The feet are going you know? like crazy. Like yeah. we're the feet. <laughs> we're going like crazy so that it seems pretty smooth and seamless. You know, you might notice like, oh, there's something different, but yeah. it's kind of interesting. And we'll, we'll follow up too, like, you know, with any what else has changed? Like we are going to yeah. tweak some of the international shipping rates and stuff mm -hmm. um, for, we believe for the better. Um, yeah. But we don't want to go into that now because we have our current, it's confusing. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get into we'll all that follow up later. <laughs> and basically it's the new site, what it's going to allow us to do from a very like macro level. It's, Scale. it's changing the architecture completely so yes. that as we look to build things for the future, we'll have better capability to do that. With our current site, everything is custom development. Yeah. So all of the new projects we were hoping to take on have been super slow going, and we just haven't had the resources to be able to do them. So we're gonna have much more capability with that with the new site, and we're super pumped. So Shopify the, is kind of like you have this base platform that's very stable, and then there's mm -hmm. all these apps, all these things you can build on top of it. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of like an iPhone, you know, we always joke, there's an app for that. And of yes. course they need customization kind of con too, concept, but yeah. um, you know, it's, it's very, uh, what is the word? Not scalable. Um, extensible. Extendable? Extend Extensible? Extensible? There, there's a word. word. There, there's a word. It's a word now. Extend. Extendable. If you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments. Extendable. No. No. So, anyway, we're super excited. Check out the blog for all the details. And that will be next week. And yep. hopefully, it will all go well. And thanks for all your good thoughts and prayers and everything yes. to get through that. Yes. Thanks for your patience. We're hoping everything goes smoothly, but just in case it doesn't, we're sorry. We'll try to fix it as soon as possible. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm I'm very confident that it, it will be smooth. I am much too. smoother than last time when people in Australia couldn't check out for two months. Yes. That Weird was, bucks like that. <laughs> oh man, last time we had so much. I don't want to talk about so last many time. things. But anyway, we hope you uh, appreciate the what's what's going into this, and hope you enjoy the new site. Um, have a great Wednesday, and uh, you know we will. Uh, Right on. See you later. Yeah, right on. <laughs>